What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, we're going to be building out the Git Review by ID. And if you look here, we already have a Git Reviews by Pokemon ID, but we want to be able to pull a single review. And in this case, it's going to pull a list of reviews, which wouldn't make sense if you wanted the user to be able to click on an individual review, or if for some reason you wanted to pull a individual review so you need that detail api endpoint in order to have it so that users can click on individual reviews otherwise like i said we would just be returning a single review so as always we're going to go within our pokemon review or uh, our review service we don't need to go into our repository we've already got our find by pokemon id we want to immediately just go within our actual service and code up the actual service. And within our service, what we're going to have down here is we're just going to have, once again, very similar to our Pokemon API endpoint or our Pokemon review service, we're going to have a review DTO. Uh, we're going to have a Git, we're just going to call it Git review by ID. And, um, this one's going to be different from the Git reviews because we're going to need both the review ID and we're going to need the Pokemon. And once again, because the user is going to click on the actual review, hypothetically, you would have access to both of these, um, these pieces of data. So you would be able to show this data in a real app. That's kind of the whole entire idea of it. And as soon as we do this, we get our related problem up here, which what is something that we want. And we're gonna go in here and we're just going to go ahead and implement this method down here. Um, next thing that we're going to want to do, this one's actually gonna be a little bit longer than our Git reviews by DTO. Uh, we're just gonna go up here and we're going to first find our Pokemon. So we'll go here, we'll go Pokemon, and we will say Pokemon repository, we'll find by ID. So we'll go find by ID. And we'll go ahead, just put our Pokemon ID in there. And we will have our or else throw. And when we have this, uh, we will return an exception of, let me see here, uh, Pokemon not found exception. And when we have the Pokemon not found exception, you can put data in there if you want to. I'm actually, let's just see. I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this up here. There's no point in typing all this out. So I'm just gonna go up here since it, it's the same. We're finding a Pokemon. If the Pokemon's not found, it's going to return an exception. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this one up here and put it down in here. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is we're going to have to find the actual review. So we go here, we go review, we're gonna review repository. We'll go same thing as before with our Pokemon, finding the Pokemon individual, we will find Pokemon ID and we will put in our review. And actually, I'm gonna go back and change this. It just says review. I think it would be a little bit more explicit if we put review ID. So I'm just gonna go back to the actual service and rename this really quick. Simple typo, um, you can fix that very quickly and make sure that you change it back so that this reflects it. Otherwise, it will show an error. So we'll go ahead, put the review ID in here and we're gonna go or else throw. And we don't actually have an exception for this. So what we need to do is we need to go and create our another exception for this. You could just use the Pokemon not found exception. I think that's a little sloppy. So let's just go in here and uh, create another Pokemon not found exception. And it's going to be incredibly similar to the Pokemon not found exception. I'm just going to make its very own and I'm just gonna go up here and I'm going to say review not found exception. So we'll just call this review not found exception. And that's kind of the beauty of Java. It allows us to just quickly go up here and create different exception handlers. And once again, it's your job as the developer to do all this because the software doesn't know uh, what's going, doesn't know the difference between a review not found exception and a Pokemon not found exception. It's kind of up to you. So I'm going to just go back here and see kind of how I built this. So I'll go up here, gonna go bring down and bring back this serial version UID. And I'm just gonna go up here, go ahead, copy this. 
and I'll name this two just to make it unique. And then let's see the Pokemon not found exception. It's going to take a string of message, super message, and we'll just do the exact same thing. So we'll go here, string of message, and we'll say put super in here. So super message, and this will pass this up to, and we'll say this one extends the runtime exception, just like this. And now we need to go within our global exception handler. And because they're so similar, we can just get away with just copying this. So we'll go up here and I'm gonna go down here and go ahead and change all this stuff out. So I'm gonna change this to review not found exception. So we'll go review not found exception, looking good. And then I'll go change this to review. Make sure that you change out the rest of these. Otherwise, it will give you an error. So I want to go here and see where else that I need to change. And that looks pretty much good. So now we actually have a real exception, a unique exception. So if we don't find our review, we will have our very own exception to be able to handle this. Go in here and we'll say, review and I can copy this up here and just say um, actually I'm just gonna say review with associated Pokemon not found let me see there we go okay so what we're gonna do now is we're going to provide a little bit more exception handling and what we're gonna do is we're going to go into our review model that we actually return from the database we are going to get the Pokemon out of the actual review and then we are going to get the ID then what we are going to do is we are going to compare the actual ID of the Pokemon review within the actual model to the review that we get from the database. And if they are not right, what will happen is that it's going to give us an error. So if we go here, we say Pokemon ID and we get the ID. So we say Pokemon dot Pokemon dot get ID. And if they are not equal, we will throw a review not found exception. So we'll say throw new review not found exception. This review does not belong to a Pokemon. So I'll say this review does not belong to a Pokemon. And if you've watched any of my actual Java videos, this situation is not ideal. You really, what you really want to do is you want to have an equals here. An ideal situation would be that we would have an equals but we can't actually access the equals because it is not a wrapper type. It's an actual primitive type. So this will work in this situation, but I would not recommend doing this within a production environment and actually showing you the difference. I think will help you learn it a little bit better being that that we're just learning for right now. I think that this will be fine, but make sure if you're actually working or if you're working in a production environment, or if you're uh, maybe in an interview or something, just know that you don't want to do it the actual way that we're doing it. We actually want to have this equals here, but this will suffice for now. And this is good enough just for learning purposes. And it'll probably actually help you learn this a little bit better if you um, just know what not to do, so to speak. So we're gonna go in here, then we're going to map to DTO, and then we're actually going to go ahead. We're gonna put our review in there, map it back. Now we have our actual service implementation so we can get the actual review. Okay, so now we've already got our service built out. We've got our nice little specific review exception. What we wanna do is we want to go into our review controller like usual and actually build out the review detail. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use good old uh, git mapping and then what we're going to have is we're gonna have slash Pokemon. We'll go ahead and put in our Pokemon ID and just like the uh, URL in the previous example, what we're going to do with this one, on the other hand, is we're going to have on an extra ID tacked on to the end. So just notice the differences between them. This one returns all the reviews. This one returns just the specific review for the Pokemon. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to go within our response entity. 
go ahead as usual bring back our review dto we're going to have get review by id uh so get review by id we'll have a path variable in here and within our actual path variable remember that these need to match so this one needs to this path variable is going to match our pokemon id and it's going to have a int of pokemon id and this one is going to have a path variable of just regular id and the regular id is going to be our review id so we'll go in here we'll give it a value of id and it's going to have an int review id and that should do it next thing we're going to have our review dto this is what's going to be the actual call to the database which is going to utilize our review service so we'll have our review service and then we'll say get review by id and this will be our pokemon id and this will be our review id and that should be pretty much it so we'll go here and we'll have new response entity and this new response entity is going to return our dto so the actual person will get back the data that they want whoever's using this and we'll return an HTTP status of okay. All that's left now is as usual, we just need to test it, verify that it is working. Okay, so make sure it's booting up. And now what we will do is go into here. And what you want to do is I created a extra um, request. So you go into here, you add another request and you could also duplicate it if you want to, I named it renamed it you need to rename it so i went in here renamed it and used http localhost 8080 i put in api right here i put in pokemon and just make sure that they match up so we've got one i used one if you get back some maybe if you get back a not found or you get back an error a lot of times what it boils down to is is they're not matching so maybe you do have pokemon maybe you do have reviews but you need to uh, go back into your database, make sure that they are actually matching. So if you look inside my database and you can just go into review, I just right clicked here, just went to database, review, went to edit data, and I made sure that these are matching just like this. And when I did so, you can see the, you can see the results. So I go ahead and click send. And I got back the single review for this Pokemon. Best review, this is the best Pokemon ever. It has zero stars and we have verified it's working, so we are good to go. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and as always, thank you for watching.